I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Here we go. Why am I doing this? Eesh, here we go. So I have um, no hairdressing or hairstyling or hair cutting experience. I am completely new to this, but I wanted to give it a try because my hair is just a bit longer than I want it to be right now. It is definitely long overdue a trim and uh, I don't really have um, hairdressing in my budget right now. So I'm gonna give it a try myself here at home. I've watched a grand total of three tutorials, no fewer than three tutorials. So I should be an expert by now. Um, I've got a lot of different information out of those three tutorials. So I'm kind of picking and choosing what I like the sound of and taking a bit of a gamble. Thankfully, I'm not doing anything too dramatic with my hair, so um, the margin for error is is quite small, I would think. Um, but I'm gonna do my best, so I am going to work with damp hair. I will insert my hair washing routine right now. Here we are with slightly towel dried hair. Thankfully my hair is in actually fairly decent condition. I do take good care of it and I use some nice products in it. I'm just throwing all of my loose hairs on the floor because I'm going to have a big cleanup job by the end of this anyway. So first thing I'm going to do is use a bit of Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. I'm just going to put that on my hands directly and then work it through my hair. And that's just going to be to help condition it while I detangle it. I have heard that, you know, the more hydrated your hair, the easier it is to cut because you're not kind of getting as many frayed ends to work with. I had been going through like a short hair phase, not like short, short, but like a lob. Um, and I really liked it, but I really was starting to miss the length. So I let it grow a lot. Um, and as I say, it's just a little bit longer than what I want it to be. I'm only gonna take like, probably, I don't know, that much off it. So I'm not going too crazy with it, but I do just want it to be a tiny bit more manageable than it is now. I'm going to grab my trusty Tangle Teaser. This is specifically the one that's designed for brushing your hair when it's wet. I actually just use it as my standard hairbrush anyway, whether my hair is wet or dry. I bought into the hype a little over a year ago probably. And I'm very glad I did because I really do find it very gentle in my hair. I find my hair does tangle quite easily, um, especially after washing. So this really does help. And I just brush from the bottom and work my way up. And by that, if, if you've ever heard that instruction and you think it means to like brush from the bottom up to the top, it literally just means start by brushing the bottom section, then start by brushing from like the midsection down and then the roots down. So you're basically just sectioning your hair and working your way up to encompass the full length of it by the end. It's just more gentle on your hair. You're not pulling your hair as much. There's a lot of knots obviously are in our like mid to to longer areas here. So it just means that you're not yanking your hair as you try to work through those knots, that you're kind of able to take care of those before you have the weight of your hair pulling down. One of the, the common threads throughout these tutorials was to make sure that your hair is as smooth as possible. So I'm really just making sure that I am 
getting every angle here and that there is nowhere for any knots or tangles to hide. And that is a disgusting amount of hair on my brush, which I will deal with later. My hair actually does feel really nice and soft at the ends already with that Bumble and Bumble oil. It's a lovely product. It's great, I use it if I've straightened my hair. I actually just use it at the ends just to help keep all of that slick and sleek so that you don't wind up with kind of the, the very obviously dry ends. So I'm gonna make sure that I've got a good clean part in my hair. I'm not too freaked out about cutting my own hair because at the end of the day, it's just hair. I'm not massively, um, I don't wanna say obsessed, but like if I have a slightly off haircut, it's not going to be the worst case scenario for me. And I mean, if it's absolutely atrocious, then look, I'll just, <laughs> I'll just splurge for the hairdresser to fix it. But um, it's something I really wanna try doing because I think if I can do it well, that's a great way to save money and um, it's a fun skill to have as well. I'm very big on being self-sufficient. So as I was saying, those tutorials I was watching were all slightly different in the approach. Two out of three were saying to do it on dry hair so that you know um, where your hair will be falling when it's dry anyway. But my hair is wavy um, and even like Kind of almost, you're probably not even gonna see these on camera, but like I have some very coily looking hairs in there as well. Like, So I have quite a lot of different textures going on in there. And lately I haven't been styling my hair all that much. I've actually just been leaving it natural. So it's not going to be particularly obvious like how the ends look. Look at how long that hair is. So. Okay, here we go. All right. There was a technique that I liked the look of where essentially you just gather all of your hair under your chin and then that supposedly gives you more of a like kind of swoop rather than a blunt end. Because <laughs> the other then technique is to divide your hair in four and do it that way. I don't know that that's gonna work. And I also only have big bobbins. I have run out of all my small bobbins. So, so prepared. <laughs> Doing a great job. Yeah, do you know what? Screw it, let's go for the under the chin method. And then we can tidy up after that. One of the other methods was to actually take it in two sections, cut the back section first to where you want that to fall, and then cut the front section to match it which isn't a bad suggestion either. Let's see if I can get it all together under my chin nice and smooth. So that's what, like that was the common piece of advice is that your hair needs to be even. No matter like whether you're doing it in this way or the four sections or the back front, whatever that you want your starting position to be even. Okay, actually I find this quite difficult to get it all tucked in under there. Oh, 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 did we get it? Are we there? Okay, I think we're over there. Gonna get all these little strands in. Okay, I'm loving this look for me. Nervous, I'm nervous, here we go. So yeah, trying to not create too much of a twist in the hair and to just get it nice and <sighs> why am I doing this? <laughs> I've been so excited to do this as well. I was telling all of my friends. <laughs> So the other instruction was then, when you tie it under your chin, add a few more bobbins down the way if your hair is very long because you want to keep it straight and taut. This would be a great time to remind you that if you're enjoying this video, please make sure you leave a thumbs up. 
If you have not already, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And these actions make a huge difference in helping other people find the video. So, this technique, the instruction was to cut right above the bobbins. I'm just going to make sure that this is exactly where I want it to be when it comes to removing the length. And I definitely want to go, I want to err on the side of caution with that and remove less than planned because I can't put it back on once it's off. So I can always trim and I will be, but I don't want to remove too much length right away. Okay, here is my lovely neck beard. It's actually choking me a little bit when I lean down. My hair is quite thick. So we'll see how this goes. I've bought myself some um, salon scissors in boots. Okay. Here we go. Okay, <laughs> it's such a it's such a tiny little bit of hair. Oh wow, okay, here we go. Also, uh, the one of the videos was like, don't wear much in the way of, of clothes because you're gonna get bits of hair all over them. And uh, it gets itchy. Okay, all right, let's pull, this, let's pull this bad boy down and see where that's sitting. Oh, that's much better. Yes, that is already an improvement. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So, what I'm going to do now, is I think I might try that back and front section just to smooth out the ends, make sure everything is, is sitting well, because obviously that's not like, that's not perfect the way that is. Just kind of brush it all together and see what it looks like. Actually not too bad. Brad Mondo was one of the, the people I was listening to and he's a very well established hairstylist on here. So I am going to uh, take his advice and go from the highest point of your head and you find that by resting your comb on top of your head. Um, hard to do on yourself because trying to see where your comb is and also keep your chin level. So that's about here for me. Pull that down. Go in behind my ear. Yeah, I think I might do six sections because this part of my hair is just, I feel like there's a lot going on here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is a technique called point cutting, which is basically you're cutting either like straight up or straight down, um, as opposed to cutting horizontally. And that just helps to thin out the ends of the hair. I might actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna snip a little extra length off that. Yeah, yeah, that's better. liking the look of this. I'm actually quite happy with how this is going so far. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. Like that is, that is perfectly satisfactory. I'm going to come back to you when I'm doing the front. Okay. Midsection went well as well. And we are quite decently lined up, I believe. I think there's still a few kind of dry ends on there, but as I said, I don't want to overdo it. So let's let down the front section. Push the other bits to the back. Oh, tangled. Okay. All right. And then again, just I'm brushing and brushing and brushing and brushing and brushing. Now, the front section is probably going to be a little bit shorter than the rest anyway, because I usually get kind of a bit of a like gradual layer put in there. I'm not gonna have too much to remove here. 
let's go to like oh, oh working in a mirror is so hard okay let's go to like there okay okay so yeah that is definitely a bit longer in the back um should i cut a little bit more maybe just maybe a tiny bit maybe just like a little i'm gonna kind of almost just catch it with the scissors a little bit try to not catch my fingers while i'm at it but just instead of kind of just chopping a bit off i'm just gonna it down a little bit. See if that makes it a little bit more blendy. No, it is still quite long. Okay, you know what? While it's not probably the exact precision that you would get at a hairdresser's, I'm so far very, very happy with this. Um, so I think I'll wait to do shaping and layers until I've cut this side. Uh, so let's hope that this one goes just as well. That's such a deranged look. There is such a feeling of power of cutting your own hair. Whether that's like a good or a bad feeling of power. Who knows, but um, just, you know we all care so much about our hair. So the fact that you could make or break. Sorry. Buying a pair of 12 euro scissors and watching some YouTube tutorials. I'm very, very pleased with this. Okay, wow. All right, so. Took a little bit of tweaking to make sure the fronts were symmetrical. I'll have to just do a good 360 look and make sure everything else is, is sort of where it should be. Oh my God, I'm actually like already itchy with the hairs. Oh, I totally get what that person was saying by not wearing too much on top. Okay, so now we are going to layer. I was going to dry my hair and then layer it. Um, I can never get like a perfectly smooth blow dry, so I think I'm probably better off to do it while it's a little bit damp and still quite smooth. So, yet again, brush, 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 get everything really smooth. So, a technique that I saw for layering. I saw two different, two different techniques used. And I like the second one better. And that is basically, to just drag your hair out to the side, bring it kind of up at an angle, so like up like that. I'm holding, I'm holding where the tension was at that angle, so they're slacking it now, but that's just so that I can bring this closer to me, and I'm basically just going to. Kind of like half cut it a little bit. Just, I'm kind of going, I'm not going like straight in at it. I'm not point cutting it. I'm just kind of going sideways at it. And let's go from, okay. So yeah, I'm just keep doing that sort of technique, I think. Try to not repeat the same strand of hair over and over. Could you imagine? Oh my God, that is so something I would do. I would just keep taking the same section of hair and then it would keep working its way shorter and shorter and shorter. And I'm just gonna... Just... Okay, so what I'm doing is as I'm pulling my fingers up, I'm just sort of, I'm pulling my hair up the hair strand. And when I get almost to the tips, I'm just giving it gentle little squeezes just to cut some of the hair in that length. Quite hard to do with my camera lens, I'm afraid, because it is 
not a very wide angle, so I will step back. Hopefully that helps. Now, where are we? So, and I'm, I'm still moving my fingers as I do that, but like slower. You know what? I'm, I'm damn satisfied. Yeah, I really am. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this like as a thing. I think I'm going to be someone who cuts their own hair. I'm very happy with this. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like when I've got it dried. But yeah, very happy with this. Okay, so now I want to frame the front of it. So I'm actually going to clip the rest of it out of my way so that I don't have to deal with. So I'm going to go from about here. So like this amount of hair on either side. And I'm just going to like swoop down and gather that up in a clip. Keep that out of my way. And then just make sure it's fairly even on both sides. And brush. Real smooth. And I'm going to like bluntly cut it first and then I'm going to Actually, am I? No, I'm gonna do it. Now that I think about it, what my hairdresser has done before is pull it down like this, nice and taut, and then go downwards with the scissors, and again, do that sort of like half cut, um, just to feather it out a bit. So let's go from like here, and just work our way down. I'm trying to like look in the mirror as well so that I don't accidentally cut my finger off or just like chop. So I'm just going to repeat that a few times because you know each time you're going to get a different bit of hair that needs to be in there if you're going slowly and, and carefully with it. You're only going to get a couple of hairs each time so I'm going to keep it nice and gentle and Well, that was a bit, that was a bit harsh, that one. Okay, so now we have, now we have some troubleshooting to do because I got a little bit too trigger happy there. So now I'm going to try and just even that out from this way here. So I'm basically just making sure that as the hair cascades, it, it doesn't go from like here to there, that there is a, a natural um, gradient to it. There we go. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. Okay, let's do that again over on the other side. quite pleased. So what I'm finding very helpful, I'll show you on this bit of hair, is for that like kind of half cut technique, is that if I go in with the scissors already sort of like half closed and I meet the hair, right? And I feel, I can feel the hair and the scissors meet each other there. And then just literally the tiniest of hand movements as I move down the hair. You'll hear just that tiny, a tiny little sound. Half, half closed and never fully close it again. Don't go like all the way open, all the way closed, all the way open, all the way closed. It's just that in the middle. Oh my God, I'm actually delighted. Look at this. This is like a proper haircut. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go blow dry this. Are you ready for the reveal? Ooh. 
girl with the fresh haircut. I didn't actually like style it or anything. I just blow dried it. Um, I dried nice and smooth. Um, and I figured if I styled it too much, I wouldn't be able to see the shape. But oh look, the ends do look a little bit chunky. Um, but I feel like that's just post haircut settling anyway. Um, I am insanely happy with this. I'm so, so proud of this. Like, is it perfectly precise? No. Do I mind? No. Um, if you're somebody who is very particular about having your hair precisely cut, this might not be for you. For me, I like it to have a little bit of shaping and movement and stuff because I find my hair just looks a bit weird if it's very like precise. Um, I'm like, I'm honestly, I can't stop looking at it. I'm delighted. I am absolutely delighted. I think, yeah, the layering on, on this side is slightly different to the layering on this side, maybe a little more severe but I'm not gonna go messing with this side to try and match them because I don't wanna overdo it and then I have to try and even that one out. And then it just becomes a case of I don't have any hair anymore. So I'm, I'm gonna leave it as is. I'm going to um, quit while I'm ahead and all oh, my hair just looks healthy. And yes, oh my gosh, I'm delighted. I'm, I'm delighted. Oh. So I bought those scissors for like 12 euro. They'll do me for probably years, I don't know. Um, and I saved myself a 60 euro uh, hair salon trip. Like, if you are on a tight budget, um, or even if you just fancy like being a little bit more self-sufficient, um, but especially if you are on a tight budget like I am right now, this is such a game changer. I'm like, I can't stop. I can't stop looking at myself. Like I'm absolutely obsessed. Okay. That was like maybe the most vain thing I've ever said, but I don't care because I cut my own hair and it went well. Oh my God. And it's like, actually even at the back as well damn girl damn girl yes guys okay obsessed i want to see if i like pull it all back kind of where the, the positioning of it is yes that's so much better mm -hmm. thank you yes woo i thought to myself as well i was like hey you know what you should do? You should get a good thumbnail pose before you actually start um, so that you don't give away the after in the thumbnail. Um, and do you think I did that? Do you think I remembered to do that? I did not. So I'm gonna try and like pretend that this is the before and I'm going to like take some thumbnail shots. All right, so I'm gonna leave you alone. Thank you so much for coming with me on this adventure. Um, as I mentioned before, please if you enjoyed the video thumbs it up it makes all the difference it shows YouTube that people are enjoying it so it shows it to more people so we can grow this community and we can make more friends here okay so thumbs that up subscribe drop me a comment and say hi that is also feeding that YouTube algorithm uh, share the video with somebody who might enjoy it if somebody in your life is looking to cut their own hair share this video <laughs> not as a tutorial, but perhaps as um, emotional support and um, backup. Uh, you can support this channel on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Fiona Malloy. I will link it down below as well. Join me there for bonus content and that sweet, sweet feeling of supporting the creative. And thank you. I'm delighted. Part of your world. <laughs> oh, this is fun. This is fun.